Hello there, my friends. Perilous 3D here. It has been a while since I've done an unboxing or a review video, so here you go. Today I am unboxing and uh, reviewing Go Go Kefir, or Kefir, however you want to pronounce it. It's that bubbly um, bacteria culture drink that's real good for you, probiotic. And uh, this is the starter kit from Go Go Kefir. And they're based out of Red Deer, Alberta. There you have it. There's their logo if you want to check that out. Go, go, kefir. Or kefir, however you want to pronounce it. Don't mind my foot and my leg there. Uh, that is actually a spot of blood from this. So if you see me pointing at stuff or getting my finger involved and there's a band-aid there, I apologize. Uh, I had a, an accident with the back of a sharp computer tower earlier. Anyway, as you can see, I couldn't wait, I couldn't resist, and I opened up the box... But uh, it didn't take too long, a couple of days, two, three days, four days, I'm not sure exactly, to arrive. But it came pretty quick, expedited from Alberta. I'm in Ontario, so it didn't take that long for considering the distance. But, you know, it's to be expected these days. Um, on the front of the box, or the back, however you want to look at it, there is a sticker here. And this is actually water kefir. There is uh, two kinds, to my understanding. I'm still learning all this stuff, guys, so bear with me, but... Uh, from what I understand, there are two different types of kefir. There is water kefir and there's milk kefir. This one uses no milk. This is a water kefir that kind of makes like a tart, bubbly drink that's uh, real good for you. So that's what I'm looking forward to doing. And um, on the box it says, this is the starter kit as I said, and it says everything you need to make your own water kefir at home. Fragile, handle with care. There you see their logo again, Go Go Kefir. The kit includes an organic water kefir grains. I guess that's a little satchel of those or something, I'm not sure. The package, um, they must be dry. Uh, 1.9 liter brewing jar, 500 milliliter starting jar, a 5 inch strainer, two 500 milliliter reusable bottles with lids, two muslin cloth jar covers and rubber bands. Cool, I didn't have any of those, so that'll come in handy. Uh, two funnels and a stick-on thermometer and a step-by-step -step instruction guide. Let's go ahead and open up the box. All right, so again, forgive me, my friends. I am slightly handicapped here with my finger, and I'm trying to hold the phone also. Can't find my tripod, so... I'll do my best. Um, so we've got our strainer here right off the bat. Like I said, I did open this yesterday just because I was so curious I had to look inside, but I haven't really dug in that deep. So we've got a strainer. Let's put this aside. Try and keep everything as neat and uh, clean as possible. We've got, although I'll probably have to wash this stuff anyway, so it doesn't really matter. We've got uh, two funnels, a big one and a small one, smaller one. You get to see everything that's out there. So this is... What is this? It's going to be hard to open with one hand, but I believe that's one of the mason jars. I'll take it all out of the wrapping here in a second. Um, here is one of our bottles. This is like a um, an old school pop or beer bottle type of thing with the resealable lid. And it comes with two of them, which is pretty cool. Uh, this kit, by the way, cost me about 50 bucks, uh, not including shipping. So I think shipping was pretty cheap. It was, I'm, I'm not even sure, like 5, 10 bucks. Don't quote me on it, but roughly 50 to 60 dollars Canadian for this kit. So inside we've got what it said here on the box. There's our lid for mason jars. Or one of them anyway. That's it for the box. Um, so I'll go ahead and unwrap this stuff and we'll take a look at it. So there you have it unopened and uh, unpackaged, my friends. Very well packaged, actually. I will say, extremely well packaged. I had a hard time opening it there, so there was no risk, or very, very little risk, anyway, of anything getting damaged. And with stuff that's made out of glass, of course, you want it to be well packaged. So A-plus on that front. So as you can see here, we've got our thermometer. It's a stick-on thermometer, the kind you use with, like, uh, aquariums and stuff like that. You just stick those pretty much on anything, usually stuff that's made of glass. Uh, we've got our instructions, we've got our our uh, filters for the jars, we've got our grains here, our kefir grains, 
Again, our two funnels, our strainer, the two bottles with resealable lids, and a big mason jar and a small one. So that's the kit. Let's go ahead and take out the instructions here and have a look at those. They look like they're very well laid out instructions as well, so I'm not going to read the whole thing, but just to give you a quick overview if you want to pause the video and have a look. Pretty detailed instructions here. Water and sugar. Make sure to use chlorine-free water. Avoid using microwave oven to boil the water. It's best from a kettle or pot. Here's an important note that I just noticed. Uh, water kefir grains do not do well in distilled reverse osmosis or filtered water due to the lack of minerals. If you're using distilled RO or zero water, add a couple drops of mineral supplement available at natural food stores or a pinch of gray sea salt. You can also use clean well water if the iron content is not too high. Here the, the iron content is, is very high as well as sulfur, so I couldn't do that. If you use bottled water to spring water that has not been ozonized, it will stay on the bottle. We, we grew some triops recently, and uh, it's funny, they, they call for almost the same thing, the same type of water. And we found that the grains do not do well with uh, ozonated water, ozonized water. After a bit of experimentation, you'll discover what works best. Do not use bleached white table sugar or honey. So it, lo it looks like, at first glance, guys, this is going to be a um, little bit more complicated, a little bit more intricate than I thought it was going to be. The ingredients are very, very specific. I'll keep moving down the page so you can see this here. Make sure you go through all the instructions and do exactly as they say, since the vendor would know. They know their product more than anyone. So here's the get started steps. Wow, the temperatures have to be temperatures have to be spot on as well. So there's the fermentation steps. After 48 hours, what you do, fermentation stage one, stage two. Um, again, here you can pause the video if you really want to read this stuff, or I'm sure you can find it on their website or online. I'll have links for all that stuff in the description, so don't worry about having to search for it too much. Again, here, don't use... Um, Try using non-ozonized bottle spring water. Temperature, stick the aquarium thermometer on there, mineral content. Yeah, I'm going to have to get all this stuff. We don't have any We don't have any gray sea salt, I don't think. The sugar nat sugar, I have no idea what that is. So, If you have any questions, contact support at water-kefir.ca. We'd love to hear from you. And uh, that you will, my friends. That you will as soon as I upload this video. That is it my friends, that is my unboxing and I'll, maybe I'll do a more thorough review of the actual kefir itself, how it tastes, how it looks, what the um, making process was like. Maybe I'll capture a couple of videos in between showing that, who knows. But for now the unboxing and um, the primary review is, is complete. There you see all the products that come within the kit. So I'd really appreciate a like, a sub, and all that good stuff. Hit that bell icon like everybody's saying if you enjoyed this video. And uh, be sure to tune in for more, as well as all kinds of video game stuff. Primarily Minecraft and other things like that. But I'm going to try and do more of these uh, unboxing and review type videos. Because I enjoy them, and I think you guys do as well. So look at the packaging on that. That was great. Thank you so much for that, GoGo Kefir. And I'll be sure to do an update video at some point soon. So take care, my friends. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.